All right. In this video, I just want to cover the big idea of what we're trying to accomplish with breaking these things down into components and maybe a little bit of how it works. Let's say that we want to add vectors C and D. Okay. Now, uh, I don't have any angles here because I'm not going to work specifically with numbers, just with concepts. So if we take a vector C, something like that, when we add on vector D, we get something like this, right? And then, of course, we need to put in our resultant vector. And so that would be our final answer, right? Please remember that resultant vector should start at the beginning, and then the head should be in the direction of where you went, your final position. Okay? Now, the idea of this is that I can take the C vector right and I can break it up into an X vector so that's CX and a Y vector okay so that's CY alright and then I can do the same thing with my D vector here okay I can break it up into dx and dy. Okay. Now, you can tell that if I were doing C and D, there's not any right angles there, which makes finding the magnitude of this purple one a little bit more difficult. But by breaking it down, Essentially, what I've done is I've taken everything in the horizontal direction, which will now be put together. Okay, so if I take the CX and I take the DX, which is right there, and just put it right next to it, so I'm adding the X vectors first. Okay, and then I do the same thing with my Y vectors, so I'm going to take my CY and the dy, right? And if I draw the resultant vector for that, it's the same resultant vector as I had right here. Okay? So the basic idea is, is that we're going to take our individual vectors, break it down, okay, break C down, break D down, so that I can add their components, Cx and dx, I'll add those together, that's right there. And then I'll also add the CY and DY, right? And that was right here when I add those together. And then when I put these two, the blue and the red together, then I get my final resultant vector, which is the same thing that I would have done over here with all the di more difficult trig stuff. So that's the general idea of what we're looking at here.